Hi everyone, it's Palm Sunday this Sunday and normally a fabulous group of people gather on Saturday morning in the church lounge to make palm crosses for all of us, but we can't do that this year. So I'm going to show you my way of making palm crosses and I don't have any flax in my garden, so I thought what else could we make it out of? So I cut up the um, box that our cat food came in this week. You may have a brown paper bag. Um, from the supermarket or from somewhere else. Some really strong wrapping paper might work or you might have a plant in your garden that will work. This is from a cabbage tree, nearly as good as flax but not quite. So if you're keen to make a palm cross for everyone in your family, go and get what you need. You will need a pair of scissors and I suggest that you get a ruler and I'll give you some idea about dimensions and how long it will need to be. So go and gather all your things and I'll see you in a moment. So you've got um, either a plant to work with or a piece of brown paper or maybe a piece of cardboard and you've got your scissors. For the dimensions, if you want a cross that is 12 centimetres tall, as this one is, you will need to have 60 centimetres of material, so five times. If you just want to make a short one 10 centimetres tall, you'll need to have 50 centimetres of material. So that's where you'll need your ruler, is just to measure that out. If you're using a piece of flax or a plant, you'll find there's a really thick part at the bottom and you can't use that, so you just need to cut it off. And then you want to cut something that's just under a centimetre in width. With a piece of flax, you can do this with your fingernail, but it didn't really work on this plant, so I've used scissors. Now, as they say in all the cooking, good cooking shows, I have something that I prepared earlier. So I'm going to make a 12 centimetre um, cross out of this one. So I'm going to measure... 12 centimetres on here and then I will do the fold. So I'm going to put the fold in here and I'm going to turn that one over to the back. Now using the long frond at the back, I'm going to turn it out to the side to make the horizontal and I'll show you what that should look like. It's just a little corner fold. Now turn this one again to the back to make the horizontal on the other side and then fold this one to the front trying to get these two sides about the same. All right, there's your basic cross shape. Now you're going to take this piece, you're going to do another corner fold and it's going to go straight into this quadrant here and then diagonally behind the cross down to here. So we're locking it in place now. All right, and then go straight up to this top quadrant and again diagonally down to the bottom one here. Now to complete this knot, take this end fold it towards the back and there is a little cavity in here. I'm going to slide that in there and it will pull through and there it is coming out the bottom. So you're going to pull that all the way through and make that tight. Now we don't need this long piece here so just trim it and voila, your cross with a nice crisscross on here and the messy part at the back. I'm going to make a cardboard one as well and with this, um, the two distinct colours, you might be able to see a bit more clearly what's happening. So again, I can make a 12 centimetre cross because I've got a 60 centimetre piece of card. So I'm going to bend it at the 12 centimetres and put the long side at the back. I'm going to take the long part at the back, turn it out to the side, and there is the fold that you've got at the back, a corner fold. I'm going to turn that again to the back, 
bring it round here to make the other side of the cross and just try and make the two even. And there's your basic cross shape. Now we're going to take this piece again. We have to turn it in a corner fold and we're going to take it into this quadrant and around the back diagonally to that quadrant. So over there, diagonally, down here and pull it up to the front again. Now we're going to go straight up into this quadrant and then diagonally over here. To complete the knot that holds all this together, there's a little cavity down in here. And you're going to take the point and slide it into that cavity. Now, this is harder with cardboard than it is with the plant because the point of the cardboard keeps bending like that. So I'm just going to snip it off until I can get it through. It's tricky. Oh, I have to keep snipping. So be prepared for this. It's easier with the natural materials. There it is, gone through that gap, and now we're just going to pull here to tighten the knot. Right, we don't need this piece, so we'll just snip that off, and there's our nice little cross. So there you go, that's how to make a palm cross and um, we'd love to see what you make your palm crosses out of. So if you make them out of something unusual and you're feeling proud of it, take a photo and send it through to Patricia and we can uh, set up a collage board of all our palm crosses for this year. See you on Sunday at our Palm Sunday service. Perfect. You don't really need me. I think that's gone on again. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Down the hole. Does it? Because that, that's the stop button there, I think. I'm videoing that. Sorry, yeah, I had to stop you there, so I wasn't videoing. Okay. Sorry. Are you on?